Cut dark. Oh, you're allowed to take the kind of thing. Cut dark and just compare to Yeah, I just the, the final shot I'm going to use, I won't release it. Is that good sometimes? Is that not good? What the fuck? That's a test shot. What the fuck? What the fuck am I doing? And I'll take it. Do you want me to take some of your phone? Alright, I can just send them to you if you take them all. Alright. Okay. So you're going to close down the set? You want to close it down? Alright. Yeah, yeah. So it's a few people like, oh, what do you do? It's like, oh. Um, I'm definitely a portrait photographer. Conceptual portrait photographer, okay. <laughs> Conceptual. Portrait photographer. Well, you know how like you sit there and get your photo taken in. Now, well, fuck that. Like, I just put shit on your face. So just like make you look crazy. And I'm talking like just not like a little bit of theatrical makeup. I'm talking like goo and weird shit. So you, you don't even know what you look like. And I pretty much have to show people because I don't think the genre exists. She might wear it all night. Probably five minutes after the camera comes on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only like taking photos of people. I've taken photos of like dental teeth and science things and catalogues and all that stuff. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's easy, it's too easy. I'm just like, are you pay me for this? Like, never ever, ever in my whole life had intention to become a photographer. I never chose to be a photographer, it chose me. But it's been an artist. I actually want to be a fashion designer. One day I pulled a chick out of a class in high school, in year 10, it was like 15, and I said, here, put on these punk clothes. I was like, I take some photos. And I saw a photograph on film. Didn't know what I was doing, didn't know what the camera did, but Every time I took photos, they were perfect. I'm not even kidding. Every photo, the focus, the depth, the field, the composition, my photos were perfect. I just had the eye for it. I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing. I just like taking photos of people. I only take photos of people because I feel like I need to connect by photographing emotions, blah, blah, blah. This is where the story gets bigger. I um, went overseas as an, exchange, as an exchange student in 2003, so I was 16. And I, um, you know, being in that developmental stage where you're trying to find identity, you don't know who you are, you're emo, and blah, um, I used photography because my parents sent over a 2.1 megapixel camera, like those little crappy box things, right, when they just come out. And I just went, and I just went nuts on it, I just went nuts and took self portraits as well to sort of like learn who I was through art. Um, and learn to like yourself. When I came back to Australia, like I had to take photos all the time. I just had to because that's how I expelled everything. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna take photos now. I'm gonna take photos. And as soon as I started using the internet and MySpace back in the day, MySpace, to share the photos, is when the word started to spread and everyone's like, what the hell is this chick doing? I want it. And people started going, hey, you wanna take my photo? Here's some money. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll do this. I can do this, I'll take your money. So I learned business from the very start very start and I you know I've always been a bit business savvy I guess and thinking ahead and now that I'd finished university in 2008 I was like no nah, fuck it I'm gonna be a photographer I quit all my jobs and I just made it hey. yeah I think we're done I'm gonna start hey baby <laughs> I always wanted an alias because I didn't. I wasn't ready to say, "Hey, Jessica Lacombe makes art, and this is who she is." You always sort of need to need to cover to cover the yeah. on MSN Messenger back in the day, being teenagers. I always had my name as Madam Something, like Madam Something that I was feeling that day, like Madam Hungary, for example. And then one day I just split it up into two words and gave it an extra D, and it just stuck, and no one ever forgot it. Like I registered that trademark. I own it. I, tra I registered it when I was 21. Yeah, I'm like way on that shit. I'm just like, I do not want anyone to have this name because it's mine, it's who I am, it's mine. Ha! <laughs>assistance was always saying to me if anyone can make a magazine you could do it you could do it blah, blah, blah. I can do anything I want anything I put my mind to I can fucking do it I can build I built this room I built it with my bare hands I got, went home and started thinking oh yeah I can make a magazine yeah cool <laughs> sketch down some ideas and concepts and a few names came to mind how could we not have called it anything else oh my god because damed mad dame is to be damed that's my that's my genre name Oh, what do you, what do you, I dame.
a dame. <laughs> it does become an expression. It's actually become an expression when anyone has anything to do with glitter. They're like, oh, I got damed. People fucking use that. I fucking did it. Fuck yeah. Uh. So my assistant called me in two weeks. He's like, I'll call you to remind you to do the magazine. I'm like, guess what? I've already planned it. You come over next week and you're designing it. I'm out of my head, right? It's really weird because this girl looking at a bad day with two different people right now. It's really weird. Yeah. I feel like me, I feel like Jessica, but at the same time, like, Mad Dame's like somewhere around here. I'm just like, it's all her. She's done all this. I'm just like, I'm really in between and bizarre and weirdo. People sniff it, to be honest. People go, they look at it, they're like, oh yeah, and they're like, they do, trust me. I'm just like, I don't want money. Just take my magazines. There's so always things I want to do. I forget a lot. I've actually told my friend to remind me to do something. I should write things down, but I just mm, try and kind of challenging my brain to remember things before I get that thing where you forget things. See, I've already forgotten what's called dementia. Before I get dementia, I'm trying to remind my brain to remind me to do things. Um, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is something I want to do. All the, time, all the time that I've wanted to do. I mean, since high school, I wanted to be a fashion designer, but I became a photographer instead. But I would also think that I, something I'd be good at with my skill set without having to learn a new career is making um, music video clips. I would love to turn, you know, my art pieces into moving art, you know. Imagine seeing this woman walking around in glitter. It'd be like, it'd be fucking freaky as fuck. It'd be awesome. So, and when I hear music, I'm, I, I, I see things. You know, I don't know how it works for musicians. I know nothing about music. I can't fucking play it. I wish I could. I fucking fail. I'm, I'm gifted with eyeball doings, not music doings. And it kills me because I want to do music, but I can't. I'm a fucking artist. So, and it, it's funny because other people say, like, oh, I wish I could draw, take a photo. I'm like, I wish I could fucking play bass guitar, but I can't. But, um, so I can live vicariously by making music video clips. Um, so I went to this high school to give a bit of a talk as an inspiration in general, not just about, hey, art, blah, blah, blah. And I fully opened up and I told them, you know what? I didn't like myself. Like when I was like in high school, I didn't think I was pretty and I didn't think this and blah, blah, blah. Exactly like what teenagers think. And I look at, look how fucking confident I am now, you know? It's pretty fucking sick. You can get even better. <laughs> <laughs> and then I told them how I got there. And you know what? They kept asking questions about, um, so they said, do you find it hard to show people pictures of yourself? Do you find it hard to show people who you are? And I'm like, no, because if you take a photo of yourself, you know, that's considered art and you can say whatever you want. It's an open forum in art, so you don't have to defend it. No one has a right to say that you're right or wrong in art. Especially if you take a photo of yourself crying, right? You can't say that that's wrong because you just can't. <laughs> you know, I, I think I can be a role model because I'm, I'm young and I'm like freaky and just not like, hey, don't take drugs, kids. I'll probably say, hey, yeah, I took acid and this is the experience and I wouldn't do it if I was you. If you want that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've got younger brothers who are actually in this magazine. Oh, there they are. That's my brothers. Let's see. <laughs> he um, wants to do film and he, I, don't, I think he wants to be a cop. I don't think he knows what he's doing. But, um, I've always been their role model. They look up to me and it's great. It's like, I don't know, something. <laughs> Ooh.